Welcome to our quick guide on how to connect your Glawning to your camper van. I'm going to start here with the standard height Glawning. So as you can see, we're using the ground sheet from the connecting canopy to line up the van. Simply line up your wheels with the edge of the ground sheet. The best way to do this is to peg the ground sheet of the canopy out first before pegging the rest of the Glawning. Once you've done this, you need to slide your drive away kit into the awning rail if you're using an awning rail or otherwise you'll be connecting using one of the other methods. And then I'm going to use the figure of eights to connect the glawning to the van. Starting either at the front or the back, slide the first one on part way. You might not be able to slide it on all the way, um, but as long as you've got something holding either the front or the back, you can then move to the other side and put the figure of eight on there. Now what you may find is that when you try to do this, it's a little bit tight and it's slightly awkward. So to make things easier, there's a simple hack for this. All you need to do is pop inside the glawning, take the center pole and just move it slightly to the side, which will take all the tension out of the glawning. You can then return and slide your figure of eights on and you won't have too much tension there and they'll be very easy to slide on. Once you've put one on the front and one on the back, you can simply add the third one either at the front or the back and that's you then connected up. You just then need to pop back into the inside of the glawning and straighten up your center pole and then you'll have full tension again. Next up, you need to go around and peg out the bottom of the connecting canopy. Now, if your connecting canopy is connected to its ground sheet, you may find it easier to cut the ground sheet out so that you have more leeway here to peg in different places to get the fit just how you want it. We now supply the connecting canopies with separate ground sheets for this reason. In here, you can see we've used Hard standing pegs, these are very useful when you're on very hard ground. Once you've pegged out your canopy, you can stand back and admire your handiwork. One further point that's worth noting is that some vans have sliding doors that open out further away from the van than others. For example, this Ford Transit Custom has a door that opens quite a bit further than that on a Volkswagen Transporter. To get around this, you need to increase the distance between the edge of the canopy and the van, and this can be done using one of our extender kits. Now, if you're attaching it to a high top vehicle, such as a motorhome or a caravan or a high top camper van the principles are exactly the same there's just a few extra things that you need to be aware of first of all the distance of the vehicle from the glawning is going to be larger so the distance as shown by this blue line on this picture needs to be around 1.7 meters for an awning rail that's 2.2 meters high going up to around 1.8 meters for an awning rail that's 2.5 meters high. The key is to make sure that the roof of the connecting canopy is nice and taut as in this photograph and there's no sagginess there. If you've got a wind out awning as on this vehicle that can be helpful as you can attach the connecting canopy to the wind out awning when it's wound out slightly and then wind it back in until the top of the canopy is nice and tight. It also makes it easier to reach the awning rail of course. Now every vehicle is different and you might find that once you've connected your connecting canopy there is a gap between the van and the canopy as shown here blocked in red. This is where the gap might appear. Now some people are fine with this but some people will want to close off that gap so that they get nice and tight into the van. 
If you want to do that, then you can use our panel sets, which are designed for this purpose. If you already have a high top canopy, which doesn't have panels connected to it, then you will need to buy our standalone panel sets, which don't attach to the canopy. They're seen in this picture here. Or if you're yet to buy a high top canopy or you want to upgrade, you can buy a canopy with zipped on panels. These are available on pre-order at the time of making this video. Both panels work in a similar way. You will need to strap one side of them over the top of the vehicle or attach it somewhere. On the separate panels, the other edge tucks underneath the connecting canopy or on the zipped on ones, as you can see, there is a zip that runs down vertically that connects the two parts together. Another tweak you can make if the roof of the connecting canopy falls down too sharply from the vehicle and, for example, makes it difficult to open the door, is to use our pole set to lift the roof of the canopy. That will fit into the inside of the canopy as shown here in green. Or you can also combine this with our extender which will give you even more clearance away from the van and allow you to lift the roof up to a greater height further away from the van. Thank you for watching, I hope that's helped. If you've got any comments or questions please let us know.